any scratches or anything concerning on this bumper right over here. So that is a pretty big W. But of course we are missing the grill for the DRLs, the DRL housing, the tow hook cap right over here, the emblem and the grill right over here. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to pull out the bumper from the white car and then transfer all that stuff onto this before putting this onto the car. So this right here is actually the first body piece I've bought from the dealership. I never actually bought a part of a car from a dealership that was this big. Right off the bat, it came very nicely packed. It has a lot of nice packaging, so it won't get damaged. There isn't any scratches or any dents or anything like that, so that is great. Reason why I went for a brand new bumper. This right over here, I believe, was around the $260 to $300 Mark, finding a bumper in my area was taking a very long time. Not just that, people had them priced for a lot. A bumper just like this, I was seeing online go for six to 700 bucks. And I just didn't want to spend that type of money when I can buy it brand new and add the pieces myself. So that's what we're going to do. And hopefully it's not too difficult. This is the first time I've taken the bumper off and I'm actually taking a look to see all the repair that they did when the car was impacted in the right over here. I can't even tell that the frame was bent before. It doesn't even look like it and everything seems to line up perfectly. But the only downside is it is extremely dirty. There's dirt literally everywhere and we're gonna need to go ahead and have to clean up all of this probably in a later video. I don't wanna go ahead and do that now because the car is still gonna get dirty with all the other things we're adding on to it. But everything looks pretty pretty good now that we have the bumper off let me tell you guys exactly what we're going to be doing now we're not just swapping over the bumper we're also swapping over the headlights on the red frs in the last video i did say that we're swapping all the mods over and that includes these v-line headlights these v-line headlights are something i want to keep as these are one of the best headlights you can get for an frs brz in 86 we're going to swap that over along with that bumper so let's go ahead and hop straight into it I also have to clean these headlights. The headlights are foggy and like yellow. Thank you. bumper installed onto the white FRS right over here. We got the V-line headlights on. Everything's working, everything is looking great. And this right here is looking 100 times better than the old bumper. So this right here is the bumper that we pulled off of the white FRS right over here. This is the one that the car came with. Now, first things first, this has a very ugly emblem on it. The back of the car also has another emblem really similar to that one right over there as well. This is very ugly. I don't even know what he was thinking putting this onto the car. But anyways, this bumper isn't in the best of shape. Um, there are some drift stitches going around right over here. And on here as well, the DRL and the trim was kind of faded. That's why I put these ones on the car that we're selling. And then I put the ones from my car onto this one right here because the ones on my car were perfectly fine. So now that we got the bumper on the car, we're still not done with the whole swap over. On the red FRS, we put the stock headlights back on. These stock headlights are yellowing and it just looks very bad. I went ahead and picked up a headlight restoration kit. So we're going to restore the headlights back to looking brand new. And then after that, we still have some more work to do on the front end of the car. 
So we went ahead and picked up the seven piece headlight renewal kit. This is to solve the problem we're having with this headlight right over here. Because I got these headlights used over time, these have also developed some condensation. This is pretty common with older headlights. The other side is perfectly fine. It's just this side is where we have a little bit of an issue. In this box right over here, comes with a couple of different things. One is a microfiber towel, which we will definitely be using. We also got the headlight polish restorer. This is the pretty much the polish that we're gonna use to bring it back to that clear. And then also in the box, it comes with a couple of different sanding grids right over here. And then we also have an applicator pad in here as well to apply this polish on. First things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start wet sanding this headlight down right over here with the material they gave us. And then we'll move on to the polish part. I couldn't find an empty spray bottle, so I'm just using a old water bottle and it has a hole in the top. Normally you also should tape off the rest of the car just so you don't scratch it up, but we're just taking a risk because I also can't find tape. And this right here is the applicator pad that it comes with. I believe this just sticks onto this right here. All we're gonna do is we're gonna get some polish. Put some polish on this. Okay, that's, I think that's more than enough to be honest with you. And what we're gonna do is just dab it in the spots we want it. And just like that, the headlights are now looking brand new. It matches the one on the left now, which makes the front end just look a lot better. But we had that yellow fogged up headlight in the front, but we got that taken care of with the headlight restoration kit that we just bought. And the front end is now looking normal. Now that we've made significant progress on both the cars, there's one more thing left to do which is getting started underneath the engine bay. This engine bay right here is super dirty, and as I was saying earlier, we're gonna go ahead and detail it hopefully in the next video, but this engine bay right now consists of two issues that we're gonna take care of. First things first, this engine bay is missing the appearance cover, which you guys see on the screen right now. We're gonna go ahead and throw that onto the car. Secondly, we're gonna take a look at the intake, and I'll explain what's going on with that. An issue I run into with this car right over here is that this cold air intake that the previous owner installed this isn't a proper cold air intake. This is honestly something that's very cheap. And on top of that, it's also bothering this space right over here. And what I mean by that is because this cold air intake is a cheaper one, it is slowly going down and hitting this pulley on the bottom right over here. And by doing that, it's not really great for the car and it could cause damage in the future. So I definitely wanna go ahead and take this out and replace this. That's gonna be it for today's video right over here. At any point in time, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to scroll down below and hit that like button on this video. Let's try our best to get somewhere closer to 50 likes. And also, if you guys are not subscribed yet, scroll down below and hit that subscribe button. In the next video, we're definitely gonna go ahead and detail that engine bay. And I also have a surprise for you. Don't stop till I hear him say. Oh, oh, la, 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 la.